Hello everybody, my name is Neil Gilbert and I am the Chief Designer for Campion Marine and I'm here today to give you a quick overview and introduce you to the new Explorer EX22 DC or dual console. This is a boat uh, we've been waiting a long time for. It's the first time we've ever done a dual console uh, and really have sort of fallen in love with this genre. Uh, it, uh, it is a boat that allows you to do a lot of things. Uh, you, can, you can fish in it, you can do family time in it, uh, and you really don't skip a beat on either uh, of those two things. Um, uh, so it is uh, a utilitarian style boat, uh, but yet has all of the creature uh, comforts that you would find in a standard bow rider. Um, just going through it here real quick, uh, you see a very large bow rider area that uh, is convertible to a casting lounge. The cushions pull out and there is uh, underneath them is a non-slip sea deck. And then the insert that goes in the middle flips over uh, so the foam is down and the sea deck is up and you get this and it's all interlocked. You get this very large casting deck. I think that's pretty unique uh, in a uh, dual console. The cockpit itself uh, is um, a study in no wasted space. Um, we Every nook and cranny that we could find in this boat, uh, we utilized for something. Um, one of the beauties of designing boats in, uh, in CAD or computer-aided design is that you can uh, get into corners and you can look at uh, spaces um, from any angle and it allows you to, to absolutely optimize the uh, design. The cockpit itself uh, is fairly straightforward in that it has a large floor space. Um, there is a ski locker slash rod locker here. This is an interesting combination where you lift it up, obviously it flips up, but the top half of it is rod storage that allows you to slide rods in on racks that go all the way through. And then underneath that uh, is enough storage to put a ski in or, uh, or something large. Um, this is sort of a double duty floor storage area and uh, it worked out really, really well. Uh, just to port of it is uh, the head unit. This door swings open, and inside that you'll find a small cabinet. You'll find a porta potty, and um, there is enough room in here for you to sort of get in, turn around, take a seat, and and close the door. It's uh, it has quite a bit of room in it for a, uh, a head in a 22 footer. As we move aft. Uh, you can see that uh, we have fish boxes in the floor on either side, here and here, as well as uh, an access hatch here which allows you to get to your live well pumps, all your through hauls. Uh, everything in there is uh, marked and neat. Uh, this is also something that uh, I don't think you're going to find on our competition. Uh, it just makes it uh, easy for you to service the boat. Behind that is a, uh, is a flip down aft seat, uh, which will hold three across. Tight, but three. Uh, it does flip up to full flat so that if you are going to fish, you can get rid of the seat uh, completely and it just folds up and it's gone. Uh, the back end comes up and the front end goes down and it folds up nice and flush into this face here. On Either side of the fold down seat, uh, we have these side boxes here. Um, there is a face that goes across here, which is not in this computer model, but it allows uh, almost a tray arrangement where you can store uh, downrigger balls and, and other fishing gear or anything for that matter. And it, uh, it stays safe and secure in there and won't roll out onto the floor. The standard uh, seating arrangement uh, is two ladder back helm seats, uh, but you can option to a back to back fold down seat. So this folds down completely flat and uh, is, uh, becomes a lounger or a day bed.
Okay, uh, now moving to the aft end of the boat. The cockpit uh, is closed off by a plexiglass door. You can see it flushed in right here in its open position. You can see it sits into a nice recess here so it stays flush when it's open. You won't catch anything on it. It's, uh, it folds away completely. When it's closed, it butts up against this feature here and there is uh, a barrel bolt that goes across closes it in. After that is a small step down to a fairly large swim platform. Uh, flanked on either side of the engine are round inspection ports you can see here and here. Now these are uh, generally not going to use much their uh, access uh, to uh, areas of the boat that you may need to maintain uh, and it just gives you a little bit more room to get at them. Um, also, we have a, a large one here in the center who allows you to get to the bolts of the Armstrong bracket that is bolted to the transom of the boat. Up top is the fishing area. This, uh, this boat utilizes the same live well uh, as we used in the Rage, which uh, is one of the biggest in of the market and uh, was designed for a specialty um, multi-species boat. Uh, so uh, with a live well you're getting the best of the best. Um, it is uh, available to option up with uh, aeration and quick draining and um, all of the other things you would expect in a, in a live well. Uh, just uh, to port of that is a uh, is a small hatch that lifts up that allows you to put a bait bucket in this area here there's a holder for it so it sits down um, and it sits in the water of uh, the live well um, and there is a, a divider that goes across here which you can remove if you like uh, and remove the bait bucket and you get a full size live well The model here is, is shown with the optional uh, hardtop. Uh, it is a fiberglass hardtop on a aluminum, a welded aluminum frame. Very sturdy. Uh, it has an electronics box up in the top and it has lots of room for you to add things in here and, uh, and comes with uh, grab rails and uh, uh, rod storage across the back. So this is the EX-22 dual console. Uh, this boat is in production now and uh, look forward to you uh, taking a look at it and uh, please feel free to send comments or ideas uh, along to the team at Campion.